In this tutorial, I'll show you how to deactivate your WordPress blog plugins if you can't get logged in to your admin area for some reason. Uh, so as an example, if we look at this test blog here and I log in and go to my plugins menu, you'll see that I have several plugins active here. My currently active plugins and I have six of them active. Uh, before you upgrade your WordPress blog, you should always come in and deactivate your plugins. Uh, and uh, doing that in 2.7 is really easy. You have bulk actions to do it. You can just click on plug in here and select deactivate all and apply and that deactivates all your plugins. Then you go through your upgrade process and once you upgrade, log back in, you come here and you can select all your plugins or ideally you would want to select them one at a time. Uh, and activate them and you don't have to select them you just activate them uh, and make sure that the plugins not incompatible with your new version but sometimes uh, people forget to do that and they leave their plugins activated and they upgrade and then they run into problems and one of the common problems you'll run into is either a blank screen or you can't get logged back into your blog or you can't get access to your administrative area so if that happens uh, you can't get logged in and you can't get access to this area and you need to deactivate these plugins uh, then uh, there are two ways to do that so let me activate these again and we'll go through the uh, tutorial step-by-step uh, -step process of how to do that okay now on this blog I have these six plugins activated I'll go back out to the front here and you'll see the sociable links are there so they're all working so let's assume that I can't get logged into my blog to deactivate them for whatever reason and I need to do it manually in the uh, documentation on wordpress.org if you go down to the facts section and go to fact troubleshooting or to the troubleshooting section and go to fact troubleshooting uh, and then go down to section 18 or so it describes two methods to deactivate plugins when not able to access admin menus. One is through PHP My Admin, and then the second is through uh, just renaming your plugins directory uh, through FTP. I'll demonstrate both of them, but that's how you get to the written part. So, on my blog test blog four here, I'll log into PHP My Admin, <clears throat> and this is explained in the FAC and the docs. Uh, I'll see my select your database if you have more than one uh, and then go down now this database here I have several blogs installed on it you'll probably only have one set of tables so you find your options table my options table for that blog is WP4 options click on it click browse and then you're gonna see several options here and you'll probably have various pages on page 2 of mine uh, in record 39 uh, not 39, I'm sorry, record 38 is where the active plugins are stored. So I come here and it's called under option name, you're just looking for active plugins. So I click on the pencil and in the field here has the information for all the active plugins. Uh, so all I need to do then is to take all of that information and delete it out and click go and that will essentially deactivate the plugins. Now we can see that if I go back to my blog and I just refresh my menu you can see my sociable icons have gone so that indicates they've been deactivated. Uh, once you deactivate them then that may solve the problem where you can get logged back in. So if I log in here now and go to my plugins area I'll see that there all my plugins are but they're all deactivated. So if you have access to PHP My Admin, that's a very quick way to deactivate. Uh, let me activate all these plugins again. And we'll look at the second way to deactivate. So they're all active again. <clears throat> if I were to go to uh, PHP My Admin again just to verify, look at Options Table, Browse, and go down and look at active plugins you'll see there they are again once I activate them information's populated again but we'll assume you don't have access or you don't know how to use PHP my admin 
the other way that the documents describe doing that is through FTP. So if you can FTP to your site, just go to your file structure, go into your WordPress blog, into WP Content directory, and you'll see your plugins directory. If I click on plugins, there are all of my plugins in that directory. So the other way to do this is to just rename that plugins directory to something else. I'll just call it back and then create a new empty directory in here called plugins. Okay. And then go back to your blog and see if you can log in. Now if I refresh here, you'll see that once I did that, now my sociable icons are gone again. If I log in and go to plugins, now this time it shows me that um, the plugin has been deactivated due to an error. It doesn't exist. It can't find it because I have an empty folder there. And so since it couldn't find these six plugins, it just automatically deactivated them for me. So the documentation tells you once you do that and you get logged in now to your site, then to fix this problem, you go back to your um, FTP site, go back into your blog, WP Content, and delete that empty plugins directory that you created, and then rename your plugins directory back to plugins. This is the one that contains all your plugins. And then if you go back to your blog now and refresh or log back in, now you'll see your plugins are there, but they are deactivated. Okay, so then you can go in and activate them one by one again to see uh, to make sure that they're compatible. So two different ways to uh, deactivate your plugins if uh, for some reason you can't get logged into your admin area 